Welcome back. Well, I took all the dirt on the road to Front Royal Virginia for the Homesteaders of America convention. That's where I ran into Virginia Tech grad and speaker at the convention, Paul Hutchinson. He gives us all the dirt on something he says he gets a lot of questions about fig trees. Welcome back to another edition of All the Dirt. Today I have Paul Hutchinson with me from Windmill Heights Garden Center at Culpeper, Virginia. We are at the uh, Homesteaders of America convention and today Paul is going to give us all the dirt on fig trees. So Paul, what are the most common questions you get about fig trees? Yeah, so most commonly people just ask us, hey, can I grow figs in Virginia? And the answer is yes, yes you can. I've got uh, seven fig trees in my backyard in Culpeper. Um, so they're pretty easy to grow. Um, you just have a, there's a few things, a few keys that um, make it successful. Um, our biggest recommendation to people is to wrap them during the winter. Uh, it's just a little bit too cold here in Virginia, so um, I build like, a cage around them and stuff them full of leaves, or I'll wrap them in like an old quill or burlap. That just that extra little insulation will help them come back here for years. And when's the best time to plant them and where do you plant them? So they like full sun, so they will not fruit if they're planted in shade. So uh, like the south side of a house where it gets direct sun is perfect. Um, you, um, you can plant them any time of year, but I would probably recommend spring or early fall up through about the middle of um, October will be best. And what kind of varieties would you suggest folks in Virginia um, plant? Yeah, so I've got a bunch of different varieties in my yard, but I really like uh, Chicago Hardy, Brown Turkey, Laterula, LSU Purple. Those are some good ones. And what are some of the benefits of having a fig? I know a lot of people love having figs. Yeah, so first of all, they're delicious. Um, I eat them fresh. You could also dry them. You can put them in the freezer. Um, you can make them into jam. Fig jam is really good. And the great thing about figs is you only need one. They don't need cross-pollination, so you just have one bush and still get lots of harvest. I think I love figs. I think I need to get a fig tree. You should. <laughs> Thank you so much, Paul. And you're a Virginia Tech grad, which is so cool to have you here. Uh, thank you so much today for giving us all the dirt on figs today. I learned a little bit about them. I hope you did too. We'll see you next time on thank all the dirt. <laughs>